We're losing distance as we get older. We're losing some strength and flexibility, and that's inevitable. But we shouldn't be losing as much distance as these golfers are. We're gonna study these swings and work out where the power leaks are. And there are three distinct areas that these golfers can really improve. And we can do something about it, and I'm not talking about going to the gym, although that's of course gonna help. We've also got a swing that we're gonna study from a guy that's over 70 years old, hasn't got these power leaks, that typical senior golfer does have. So we've got three simple tips for senior golfers to help you to increase your swing speed for golf. Now stick around, we've got an extra drill that's really going to get you hitting those drives further than you ever have. G'day golfers, I'm Glenn Haynes. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros, where we help you be the best golfer you can be. Let's have a look at these senior golfers hit their drivers. The first thing we notice is their feet are very stuck. They're very static. There's not a lot of footwork going on there. I don't believe this is a flexibility issue. I believe this is a balance issue. We don't want the stance too wide. Shoulder width apart is plenty, but here we really need to get used to being on one foot at a time. So just a little motion like that, just to get used to having your balance on one foot at a time is really going to get you used to moving your feet a lot better during the golf swing, especially with the driver. So I've got a nine iron, teed the ball up. We just want to make this nice and easy. And we're going to do a little step drill. So we've seen Podrick Harrington do this loads of times. So set up to the golf ball as normal. As I said, I've just got a nine iron, step back and step into it. Let's get the feet moving. By starting back here and then getting used to actually stepping, then you're going to shift a lot better weight in the shot be more mobile, and that's really gonna help you increase your swing speed with much less effort. If our feet are stuck wide here and we're playing like we've got eight inch nails in our feet, then the arms and shoulders are gonna be doing all the work and that's gonna really cost us a lot of clubhead speed, especially as we start to lose strength. The second thing that we notice about some of these golfers is that they sway a lot. They're trying to generate some power by transferring their weight, but it's all upper body sway and that's a really slow motion. That's gonna cost a lot of club head speed. In the golf swing, we wanna rotate backwards and forwards. Here's a little motion to help you get the feeling of turning. Get into golfing posture, put your arms out in front of you, and get into the backswing, pull your trail arm behind you, and then return the other way, get into that follow through. So by getting your arms going backwards and forwards behind you here, make sure you're rotating your hips and your trunk into the backswing, into the follow through. You see, there's no sway going on. So it's centered behind the golf ball and backwards and forwards. Get that feeling of rotating, generating some coil so that we can spring forward and that's where we can generate some really easy club head speed. Our third power leak here is a short swing. And I'm not necessarily talking about a backswing. Of course, that's to do with mobility. I'm talking about this follow through, this stopping finish position here. It's like there's a tree in the follow through. We've got to complete the follow through and I don't blame a lack of mobility for this. I blame a lack of commitment. So what we want to do is get through here and I want you to touch your lead shoulder. So your left shoulder for a right hander with your hands or your club. So have some swings. And even if you just get to through here to stop, even if it's an afterthought, get through and touch your shoulder. This real Commitment to the golf shot is gonna help you to generate some club head speed through the ball and free the swing up. Get rid of this stopping position. It's costing you height, it's costing you club head speed, and it's costing you consistency. See how I finish through nice and fluid and touch that shoulder. And that's really gonna help you with your commitment and your freedom through the golf swing. Let's now take a look at our model golf swing. Jim is over 70 years old, and this is a 300 yard drive. So let's compare this swing to the power leaks that we were witnessing earlier. Jim's stance is fairly narrow, which means that he can move his feet and rotate more easily. He's allowing his left heel to just come off the ground a little into the backswing, so he's turning, not swaying into the backswing. And as he gets into the follow through, he's shifting his weight forward, moving those feet, rotating again, not swaying, and swinging through to a full and committed finish over his lead shoulder. And these motions make it possible to maintain that swing speed, even for senior golfers. Our bonus tip for senior golfers to drive the ball further, and really for anyone who wants to drive the ball further, is to swing faster in your practice. Practice swings in your garden or on the driving range, or even before a golf shot. 
What we want to do is learn how to generate more clubhead speed, and it's not just about strength and flexibility. Swinging faster is more mental than anything. So we're going to do a little bit of overspeed training so that you're actually used to swinging faster. So that means swing something a little bit lighter. If you've got a removable weight in your driver, you can get the wrench and take that out. Obviously, you're not going to do that in the game, but you can do it at home. And that makes the club lighter and you can swing faster. Or even more simply than that, I'm going to hold down the bottom of the grip. Now, the club's going to feel really light from there. And we're going to swing faster. So I'm going to have 10 swings or so, just gradually building up the speed, moving the feet, rotating rather than swaying, and finishing the follow through and each swing is going to be faster than the previous. And you can do this left handed as well if you're a right handed golfer. So you just turn the club up the other way and we're still training those muscles to get used to swinging faster. You'll be a little bit slower that way. Now that overspeed training, that's really going to help you to generate more clubhead speed. It's something that all of the long drivers do these days, and it's something that we can do at home for any golfer. It's non-taxing, take your time doing it, and even just a couple of sessions of that, you're gonna really notice a difference and an increase in your clubhead speed. Guaranteed. We've mentioned flexibility and mobility for senior golfers, and it's definitely a huge part of maintaining swing speed and playing without injury. So here are our favorite stretching exercises for senior golfers. So watch that video next, and then there is your free training guide with all of the notes from today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to your company next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?